Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. I thought I'd put together some Christmas ideas for you that hopefully will help inspire you. Some of these things are timeless classics. Some of them are things that maybe you haven't seen before. So here we go. Okay, so timeless classic, cast iron cookware. Cast iron cookware is a tremendous thing to give because it is lifelong cookware. You give it to somebody, they're gonna use it for their life and they're gonna pass it on to somebody. That's a pretty extraordinary gift to give. So these are some of my most useful pieces I that I use, that I really enjoy. Roaster, something I use all the time. It's a little nine by 13 roaster, absolutely tremendous. I do like a lasagna, that sort of thing in here. It's, it's a absolutely killer piece. So a, an oven, I always advocate as an essential for any kitchen. So this is a five liter tall oven, really nice because it's narrower and it sits in the back of a, of a range really well, not taking up too much space. So excellent piece. And then a brazier. So this is a very, very popular piece for us. This has a really unique lid to it, is what's called a Chistera design. It keeps the moisture circulating inside and gives you more even cooking. So cast iron cookware, I think should be near the top of anybody's list. Okay, so anybody that knows me knows I'm gonna advocate for a cast iron pan. So this is a lodge pan, this is a stargazer pan. These are two opposite ends of the spectrum, but the reason I'm showing you both is that you can get into a really good piece of cast iron here for $40. You can spend up to you know $225, $275 on a piece of cast iron. They have the reasons, but what I'm saying is that they both work extraordinarily well. And for your know, budget conscious or you know, the top end of the market, cast iron is a great way to go. So carbon steel cookware. Carbon steel is an excellent replacement for somebody who has had nonstick in the past. And one of the primary reasons for that is that carbon steel comes in more of a splayed shape where you know a cast iron pan, like this field pan, is a traditional you know, sharp edge sort of pan that you put onto the stove top, you're gonna to use tongs or some sort of a tool, but it is not as easy to use as a really nice traditionally splay pan, like most pans that you buy, you know, at the hardware store, whichever a, a nonstick that people have had and they're transitioning. So the familiarity to this pan is nice. People, they see it, they understand the shape to it, for, for many reasons, you know, a cast iron pan can be quite intimidating to people to go from using just nonstick into a, a new cast iron carbon steel pan. We find that carbon steel a lot of time is less intimidating. Uh, it definitely is harder to build a surface. A lot of cast iron comes with a pre-finished surface from the factory, which allows you to kind of step into cooking quite easily. So also buying them from us, you can get a care kit that has seasoning instructions in it. So it gets everything that you need, the paste, the chain mail, the seasoning cloth, and then the instructions on how to care for it. So you can get a carbon steel pan with a care kit is a really great, hey, here, get away from nonstick, start using a lifelong cookware and you'll be successful sort of gift. All right, a very cool kettle from Fellow. So Fellow makes a bunch of really cool coffee and tea gear. This is their Clyde kettle. It's been very, very popular for us this year. It has a really nice harmonic whistle, works incredibly well, works on induction, so a great tool. And this guy here is the Raven kettle that comes with a temperature gauge on the top. It comes in stainless, in the black, and in copper. Uh, and it is a fantastic, nice little small tea kettle. So tagine, tagine is a North African style of cooking. It's not really that different than cooking in like a stew pot. Uh, you cook a lot of the same sort of way. It's just a very, very neat look to it. Uh, so if you can, you can cook a North African type of recipe or you can cook lots of other type stew recipes in it. This is from a Meal Henri. It is a ceramic bottom and top and it's from their flame line. This can actually go directly onto gas. You can also get these guys that have cast iron base. Um, but this is a full ceramic. Uh, and you prepare the food in here and it can go directly into the oven like so. A handmade wooden salad bowl. This to me is a pretty extraordinary item. If you can find one of these local to where you are, I highly suggest getting something that is handcrafted. I've seen 
hundreds and hundreds of kind of machine made, you know, in a factory, you know, Vietnam, Thailand, that sort of thing, bowls. And nothing compares to something that you can find locally here in North America that I've seen. And a lot of time the local artisan has found some felled trees. So they're not using something that is being cut and processed. They're finding a tree that somehow naturally has fallen down and they'll make their bowls from that wood because that wood is actually free. It's cheap for them. So it keeps their raw cost down, you know, good value to you. You can find these often at local farmer's markets. A lot of times there's a wood turner at a local farmer's market. And you know, when they're, they're beautiful, lightweight, quite thin, but dense, they're just such a beautiful tool to use. So we saw some made by a man up in Summerland. He sends them down to us and they are gorgeous. But wherever you are, I highly suggest a handcrafted wood salad bowl. So nothing really says Merry Christmas like giving somebody a knife. I'm a big advocate of passing on a tool in which will be a primary useful object in your kitchen. And a chef knife, this is a Santoku knife, is a, a phenomenal gift to give. A lot of people you know, struggle or have a hard time being like, oh, I'm gonna spend you know, three times more on a knife where the knife I have is okay. And they put up with a mediocre knife for a long period of time. But when somebody gets into using a high-end knife, you know, this here is our eight-inch chef knife from Katsun. This is a Miyabi Kaizen 2 Sentoku knife. You know, two extraordinarily high-end knives that are just such a pleasure to use, and they make your cooking experience that much better. You know, only a few things in the kitchen really, really elevate your cooking experience. A great knife, you know, and a good pan are really the two things that can transform the way that you cook. And so, you know, this is something that I would highly, highly recommend on somebody's Christmas giving list. So sous vide, it's been around for quite a long time. Our friends at Zwilling just came out with a new sous vide. You know, sous vide is really simple in its concept, boil in a bag, not hard, but the way in which it cooks through, you know, meat and specifically vegetables, I find that, you know, sous vide cooking with vegetables is absolutely amazing. It is quite stunning. It keeps a lot of the nutrients or it keeps all of the nutrients and everything you want from your vegetables in the bag. Uh, which is, is fantastic. So, you know, in a Ziploc bag or a sous vide bag into the boiling water from the sous vide, regulating the temperature just perfectly, and it cooks so incredibly thoroughly. Like just the way in which the tenderness of the fully cooked food comes out is extraordinary. So, you know, sous vide for all different types of cooks is a fantastic Christmas gift. So spiralizing, I can't say more good things about spiralizing. Having a spiralizer in your kitchen just blows up what you can do when it comes to getting more fibrous vegetables into you. So, you know, starchy, fibrous vegetables, phenomenal uh, doing beets and sweet potato, but you know, there are other softer things that you can do in here like apples and pears. Uh, it, it just ex totally expands the, the funness that you can have with you know, finishing your vegetables. So this is the Ratio 6 coffee maker. Coffee maker, kind of a mundane thing to think of as a Christmas gift, but not when you're elevating coffee to this level. It's pretty extraordinary. You know, if you've dealt with a you know, mediocre sort of brew style coffee maker in your home, maybe upgrading is gonna change your morning routine. So the people at Ratio have just killed it into the design of this unit, but also the functionality. So, you know, it's a siphon style water pour over. It has a really nice wide drip over top of the coffee as it brews in. Everything is wonderfully sealed as it goes through into the thermal carafe. It's got a really nice tight fitting lid seals up that coffee to keep it really, really warm for a long period of time, and it just makes better coffee. So, you know, a ratio six, if you're thinking about a coffee upgrade, is a great way to go. Okay, so that was just a quick roundup of a few of the things that I really enjoy. We've got tons of great stuff. I've also got the, my top 10 gifts for a plant-based cook in a video right here. And I hope you have a wonderful season. Any questions, please let me know. If you're outside of Victoria and Vancouver area and you're looking for certain tools, you can't find them, let me know. I could probably point in the right direction. We're here to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.